Mike here again for another Google SketchUp tutorial. And the one I'm going to do today is on spiral staircases. So the first step is to make the stair tread. And if I click on the R tool, that makes a rectangle. And start drawing a square. I want it to be 36 inches wide by 12 inches deep. So 36 comma 12. Hit enter. There's my stair tread. Zoom in on it. I'm going to go over the push-pull tool, which is this tool right here over in the toolbar. Or you can just push P, and that makes any surface that you click on, you're able to move it. So I can move this up and down if I click on that surface. You can do it manually, moving it up and down, or you can just type in the distance that you want. And uh, I want my stair tread to be an inch and a half thick, so I'm just going to type in 1.5 and that makes it an inch and a half thick. So very simple, there's my stair tread. You can move it around, rotate it. Again, if you push down that scroll wheel button, you can rotate. And uh, just as a side note, if you hold shift and push the scroll wheel button, you can move your object. So that's holding shift and pushing the scroll wheel button. And scrolling zooms in and out. So scrolling in and scrolling out. So again, uh, that push-pull tool, I can, I can click on any surface and pull it in and out, make it any direction I want. I can click on this one, go make it bigger, smaller. So <clears throat> anyway, there's my stair tread. Now I'm going to go over making a component. Now, say I want to move this object. All right, so there's my stair tread. Now I want to make it a component. Now say I want to move this object. If I hit the M tool to move it, um, by just selecting something, it's just going to move that line that I've selected. So uh, I mean this tool comes in handy for some applications. But for this particular one, I, moved, I want to move that whole tread at a time. So by making it a component, if I get my select tool, which is the space bar, triple click on it, and then right click, I can go make component. I'm going to call it tread. So there's my tread. Now, if I hit the move tool, I can move it any way I want. I can do other things like uh, rotate it. Um, and I'll rotate it around. Uh, I can rotate it, uh, rotate it that way as well. So some cool things you can do by making it a component. All right, so now that I have the tread, I want to decide how tall I'm going to make the spiral staircase. And I'm gonna make a vertical line that tall. So I'm gonna hit L for the line tool and start from the bottom, go up on the blue axis. I'm gonna go up um, I'm going to go up 10 feet. So hit 10 apostrophe for feet, hit enter, and there's the height. Now the standard height of a, of a stair tread is 7 inches. Um, they're 7 inches apart from each other. So um, in order to paste this first tread at the correct point, I need to make an indexing point. And I do that with my tape measure, which is the T on the keyboard, or you can select the tape measure over here on the tools. So I can hit T and start from the bottom there and go up seven inches. So I'm just gonna type in seven, and now it gives me that indexing point of seven inches. Now I wanna move this tread to that point right there. So I'm gonna hit M for the move tool, select the middle, and just tap it right on that point. So. There's my first tread. Now, something kind of cool you can do with a component or anytime you're moving something. Um, on a Mac, if you hit the Option key, and on a PC, if you hit the Control key, um, so I'm going to click on this, like I'm going to move it, and if I hit that key, either Option on the Mac or Control on the PC, it's going to make a copy of it. and um, I can move that copy anywhere I want. So I want it to be seven inches up, so start moving, type in seven, and it automatically makes it seven. 
and just continue that option. <coughs> and now because it remembered that I went seven inches from here to here, now it's giving me an indexing point of seven inches because it assumes I want to repeat that over and over again. So again, start moving the option, go up to that seven inch point and repeat that all the way up. So now so I can see what I'm doing and then process all the way up. So again, I'm clicking to start moving it, hitting option, going up, there's my seven inch point, click again to paste it. Repeat that all the way up. all the treads of course it's not a spiral yet so I'm going to show you how to rotate each one of those because they're components I can hit spacebar to get my select tool select that first one and then hit Q to get the rotate tool over here on the toolbar it's this button right here she, she's tangled. but if I just hit Q that gives me that rotate tool so what I want to do is get this point right here to line up with this point on the tread below it. So, and I want to rotate it from this point. So the first point you select is where you want to rotate it from. I'm going to click right there. Now I want to click on the point that I want to move, which is that point. And then the third one is where I want to move it and I want to index it to that point. So three different clicks there. Spacebar to select, select the tread, Q for the rotate, make sure I'm on the blue plane, click, click, and click. Space, select, Q, click, click, and rotate a little, click, space, and repeat this all the way up. Very simple. Rotate around, see what I'm doing. Space, click, Q, click, click, and click. Space. Goes pretty quick. There's probably a quicker way to do this, but this is the way that I figured it out. Time. Click, Q, click, and paste. Click, Q. I clicked on the rotate tool, the Q, and then I clicked on my point, but I was on the red axis, which is going to rotate it this way. I don't want to do that. So hit escape and make sure it's on the blue axis when I click. So right there. Uh, move that point and paste it right there. Dad, now I, I turned it all Actually, right it, uh, it didn't work, so I'll rotate it back. <laughs> Make sure I'm indexing the right point. It's so like there. Rotate around some more. And oh, I pasted it too soon. Click and click. Space. Q. Oh, I'm on the red again. Escape. Blue. There we go. And Space, click, click. Almost done here. Okay. 
just like that. Now, typically with the spiral staircase, I would continue this rotation until this tread was exactly opposite from this tread. Because, you know, like if you're, I guess not in all cases, but most of the time you're approaching the deck you want to go up to or the, the upper level and then you climb the staircases and then you reach that up, up level. So, all right, so now we have the spiral staircase. Like I said, um, typically I would continue to rotate this around a little bit higher, but for time's sake, I just went that far. Now, um, I don't know of many spiral staircases that are supported by a very thin line in the middle, so I wanna make that a beam. And the way I do that, is first I hit C for the circle tool, select the bottom of that line, make it as big around as I want. I'm gonna go about there. And now hit P for that same push pull tool and pull it up. I can go as high as I want, I can index any point I want. So like if you see here, I'm I'm just holding my uh, cursor over this point and it's indexing that level. I can do the same with any level. I'm gonna make it go up a little bit higher. Click there and uh, there we go. And that is just a, the basic concept of a spiral staircase. I will do another tutorial uh, of adding handrail to it, which most spiral staircases have handrail on the outside. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, uh, just let me know. Thanks.